yeah guys neo neo this is neo neo speaking neo to neo holders do you hear me neo to neo holders can you hear me charts markets open guys live live guys um friday it's friday 22nd november 2024 just turned 58 minutes past 2 p.m uk time guys and the market's opened since what <clears throat> just about half an hour now just under 30 minutes and it's moving up guys moving up moving up moving up neo stock moving up moving up When's it going to be £10, guys? I mean, $10, $10, $10. Neo Holders, are you there? Are you there? Not financial advice, but I may have called this. I may have called this right, guys. I said Friday could be could be Rocket Day. It was my, my last live video titled. But let's see. Let's see, because it's had a lot of selling pressure recently etc etc anyway this is the four hour chart we're looking at on neo stock guys let's just change it to let's put it on the 10 minute chart that's how it looks on a 10 minute chart guys dramatic move up right i'm gonna squeeze the chart on a 10 minute chart so it's like left that area so far as you can see left the area and um yeah, so, so it's moving up on the 10-minute chart, guys, right? Going back to that 480 level, it's 476, 477. Then it goes down 473, 478 now, as you can see it, right? Live, in real time, real time, right? So Neo stock, <clears throat> when will it get to $10? It's possible it could get to $10 still, you know, in November, you got today, and then you got five trading days next week. If they're all trading days, no holidays. Haven't checked. So you got really this trading days just started. So you got six trading days, guys. It's possible. It's possible. Depends. Don't forget, you got the Firefly coming out twenty first uh, December. You're gonna get more orders coming through the pipeline <clears throat> as they expand. Um, so ten dollars is a possibility in November, guys. If you're looking for a swing trade, if you're looking for if you're a holder, looking as an investment for a long, long term, then obviously not financial advice. Just my opinion. You probably you probably don't want to be selling, even if it goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, blah blah blah, blah whatever. So. <clears throat> It's pushing up, guys, like you see it pushing higher, higher. Just pushed beyond 480 there, as you saw. So there's no, as I can see it, there's no news at the moment. There's no news about Neo. Well, I haven't checked extensively because I just got back in the office, right? So there's no news. Um, but it seems to be moving up quite fast seems to be moving up quite fast guys i'm just checking if there's any news um yeah so neo stock you know as i said it was due to move up um i think a lot of people want to come in neo as i've been saying in my videos I think a lot of people want to be, you know, coming into Neo. They don't want to, don't want to be left out, guys. And um, yeah, I think I think as I said in my previous videos, which you should listen to, I think they're going to have to do a deal, guys, with Neo and companies like Neo. I can't, I can't. The Americans, you know. It's going to hurt them if they don't do deals. 
if they impose tariffs, then Tesla could be crippled in, in China. I've said it in my, I don't know if you can hear it in my live videos, but I've said this because China, the government, they could say, right, you don't buy Neo anymore. You buy what we tell you to buy. They're all like, remember, they're all under control in China, the social credit score. If they put the word out to say, right, you're not buying Tesla, you've got to buy BYD or Neo, et cetera, et cetera, all those sales are going to be lost for, by Tesla and they're going to be filtered through, filtered down to Neo. So that's talking about tariffs, like Tesla got a good deal in China on tariffs to sell and on their land they've got and um, you know um, batteries and raw materials etc and yet in America they want to post tariffs on um, talking about tariffs on Chinese EVs partnerships the only way otherwise gonna hurt Tesla <coughs> excuse me so it's pushed guys beyond the what 482 I think there no almost 481 because you remember it went up to yeah it, went, it was 484 there back um on the 22nd that was actually pre-market yeah that's pre-market there and yesterday it was uh yeah that was when it was 482 it was yesterday it was 482 in the live market Pre-market it rose to 480, 484, and what we're seeing now is it pushing up quite strong from from a sag in the pre mark in the in the aftermarket down to 454. So we're seeing it pushing up. You wouldn't want to be out of it over the weekend, guys, would you? I mean, if you was coming in thinking about buying Neo, you wouldn't want to be out of it. Every day that goes by at the low levels, it, it, it could just shoot up to $10 or thereabouts and then only come back down to about seven, six fifty, and then shoot up even higher. So you wouldn't want to be out of it, would you? Especially over the weekend. As I said in my previous videos, Friday generally for stocks, they can be sluggish. But with Neo, this current situation, it could be it could be a big spike, you know, on Friday. I said, and it's starting off that way, certainly at the moment. <clears throat> starting off that way, guys, for Neo stock. And um, yeah, as I say, I don't know what's happened to my live videos. It sounds totally naff got to get it looked into or maybe i need to get a new phone or a microphone or something but it's no good but as i say um yeah long term neo stock it's a winner in my opinion not financial advice i see that prickly pears video talking about 65 cents or 65 dollars Sorry, not $65. He was like $650 or 65 cents. I mean, it's all scaremongering. If you're a long-term holder, if you're a Neo investor, you would never say 65 cents. I mean, what's the matter with him? Like, I think he's, um, it's something wrong. I think he's got a mental illness, you know? I'm pretty sure of it. Like, you would never say that, would you? You know, if you're, you're an investor, Neo investor, you, or any any stock investor, you wouldn't be talking about, not unless you really hoped it would go down so you could get a cheaper price. Like, you wouldn't say that, would you guys, you know? And that's what he said. And yet, people listen to him. They follow him. What donut? Clueless. You know? So, I, it's looking good, guys. Looking good at the moment at the open. Neo stock. It's gone above 480, but it could fly down quite quick. But it's on the up. As it comes down, it's moving, making higher highs. 
and 10 minute chart. I'm watching it guys. If my prediction comes right, I think it would be the ninth time I called it right. And you get these comments about technical analysis. It's all rubbish. I covered it in my live video. I don't know if people can hear me. I think there's a lot of dummies out there, you know? Clueless. Absolutely clueless. And they think they're clever, but unfortunately, it's, um, it's a delusion. They're deluded. Delusion, delusion. Moving up, guys. Moving up. So that's it, guys. Right. I'm going to keep watching it. I'll update you. But it's looking good so far. It's kind of like semi recovered. It's um, moving up. I've got to get back up to 550 at least to stabilize. You know, got to go above five, at least 550. And shorts had enough, they'd be loading up. Shorts would be buying more. Yeah, guys. Let me know in the comments how many shares you've got. What's your average? Hey, what's your average? And what's your target price, guys? What's your target price for Neo stock? That's what's important, your target price. Whether you're an investor, long term, or swing trader. Let me know your target price, guys. I think it's going to push higher today. I've got a feeling. Based on my research previously. And the price action of Neo. Yeah. Change the chart. Change the chart. Wait a minute. Change the chart. That's the day chart, right? That's the one day chart here. You can see it's moving up. Right? So you've got two green days. It's heading now for the third. You had five down trade, you know, five bearish days there. And then it went up and you had, it went pretty down, but, but ended up up on this day. Now it's up guys, it's, um, it's making a move now. It's on the day chart. The pattern's quite spiky now. It's still a box pattern. 
So it's got to shoot up based on all my analysis of, of price action patterns and, you know, trends. It's got to go right up. In the first instance, it's got to go up to about $6. in one trading day. Don't know when it's gonna be, but as I said, it should be in November. If it, had it been bashed down on those previous days, three, four, you got five days it was bashed down, five or six days, if had it been bashed down, it would have already been over six dollars, probably ten dollars the neo stock, but it got bashed down. Now it's time to go up. See it going up. Slowly, slowly. Neo stock guys, it's moving up. Moving up guys. To the moon. To the moon, guys, there's the moon. To the moon. It could just spike, guys, to six dollars on the first trading day. I mean, in one trading day, or well, this first trading day of this week, like proper spike, this last trading day of this week, call it the first day of the spike, so it goes to $6. And then next week, it pushes up towards $10. See my point. You can see, you can tell it wants to fly. You can tell. You 
can tell it wants to fly. You see that pattern there? <clears throat> That's not a sideways pattern, what we've seen it shows you in my previous videos. That's the box pattern, like a cup. And that means it's going to spike. It's a repeat of this pattern here. If you see it, this one here. You see how it went down there and then went up and then that picked that down a bit again. You see the red and then it went green and then it spiked. That's what's going to happen here in my opinion. But it's kind of a delayed reaction. That red, you see, that red is, is what you see there, back here. That red, and then it spiked up three, three greens there, plus more. Well, you see the same thing here. You see the red, it went red, and then three greens, but it's not, it's, it's being held back. It wants to fly, it wants to take off, right? But these stupid day traders buying it down here for, for 50 or whatever. It's them selling it, sending false messages to the market. Day traders, they, they, they've got no I've got no guts to hold, you know, for more, for higher. They've got no guts. But you can just tell, can't you, they want to take off. You can just tell. You don't need to be an expert in reading price action to tell that it wants to take off, guys. Anyway, check out my other videos, guys. I'm going to update you later. Um, I'll update you later, guys.